Would you like to learn hand painting really quick in Blender? So this quick video is made for you. Before starting, make sure to hit the subscribe button because soon I will upload more videos about hand painting in Blender with a lot of tips and tricks which can improve your hand painting skills a lot. My name is Murtaz Abrahami from artstudio313.net After creating the model, we need to UV unwrap that to make a new UV map. And we will bring this UV map in the texture painting and we paint on each of the islands. And now let's move to texture paint, create a new base color. We can name it to rock 0.3 and everything is good. So click here and make a new uh, color palette. So let's click here. Uh, we can actually create another panel and import our image texture. Then we can drag and drop our new image. So let's put it to image uh, editor, zoom, go to view and display texture paint off. If you want to uh, if you go further and back in, for example, layout and texture painting, you will lose it. But if you click on this pin, uh, it will pin it and no longer will move. So now let's click on mode and set it to paint because we want to sample color. So press S, as you can see, as soon as I press S, it will uh, sample. But if I set it to view, it doesn't uh, do that. So uh, default color such as this one choose that and left click it will assign it right here then it dark color and a bright color again so we have three kind of color which is almost perfect we can choose this one as well then we can move these uh, around so let's move it in the first so we have bright to dark so this can be our default color click on fill and assign oh make sure to click on fill because you have to select it multiple times to get it right that's good now we can select our brush so uh, to start painting As I said, play around with the size of your radius. So we start with the ambient occlusions, always. So it's good to see how much of this rock is under the ground because we don't need to paint over those uh, places which the rack is on the, the ground. Make it a smaller. Sometimes paint a bit more. Then you can uh, play around with the radius, a small size, then Shift F and sharp it up. Hold down S to select the neighbor color because I want to make this part a bit sharper. Now I can paint to make it sharp. Mm, you can sharpen up here as well. Something like this. So let's go back here. Press F. Everything looks good. Now we select these, which is the highlights. We set it to point three or so. Zoom and paint the highlights. Mm, 
it doesn't need to be always on the uh, the cavity just try to paint or some of these edges which is needed so let's continue paint it You can see I'm using a really low uh, strength on this uh, brush. And here we will paint the highlights as well. really good now if we would like we can use a really bright and paint some small touch to make it even more stylized so let's continue the edges, the top edges, such as here, and these edges as well. So we can select it with a really low uh, strength and with a big brush size, we can paint a bit um, or make some place of it a bit darker blend them together now it's a lot better so this is another way of painting which i would like to mention to you so let's sample the color paint it Paint here just a bit more. We're almost done. 